What's going on smart people? Changing up the scenery a bit today because normally I film in my room but our walls are so super thin and I can just hear people talking outside the window. It's very distracting. So we're in the living room today. But today is finishing up the second week of the second semester of grad school. I never felt more like a full-fledged grad student than today because it was my first time actually TAing. I TA'd a lab for the first time in my life today. Thought I'd talk about it a little bit. So for those of you who might be unfamiliar with the process, when you apply to grad schools for say physics or normally just STEM in general, except for I think psychology is never funded for some reason. But regardless, when you apply to PhD programs, they will normally fund you. And in exchange for the money that they give you to be a student, they'll expect you to TA labs, grade papers, things like that for around 20 hours a week. The lab that I am a TA for is a mechanics lab. In reality, it's an engineering physics course, but it all amounts to the same thing. It's classical mechanics. And it turns out that there is a lot to it. Oh my God, there's so much that these students have to do and I guess in return that I have to grade. So for example, every class, the students are expected to watch this video and the video is telling you, reiterating really what they've been learning in class. So for this time, it's what vectors are, what scalars are, how they add and what you can do with them. And at the end of that, which they're supposed to watch at home and it grades them at home when you interact with it, uh, they come to class and immediately they're supposed to have basically a quiz, a quiz on that on that video, and they're allowed to take notes and use the notes for it. This is called the RAT, and it stands for Readiness Assessment? Assignment? Test? I don't know what it stands for. I, I don't know acronyms. After that, they get started on the actual lab, and the actual lab is just a bit more involved than the RAT, and it is, so for today, they were learning about things like vectors as well as unit conversions. So making sure that, sure, you can add vectors to vectors, but it really only makes sense if they have the same units attached. So I had to bring up how America is the stubborn teenager and doesn't like to use the same units that the rest of the world does. So we went over converting from imperial to metric and all that kind of stuff. And there was like 30 things that these students had to, had to convert. And then after that, they had to learn how to do vector addition using the tip to tail method, where it was a graphical representation of how vectors add. So they had to draw that stuff out. And then after that, they have what's called the CAT, or the CAT, which probably stands for comprehensive something or another. And what it all boils down to is they watch a video, they're tested on it, and then they do a lab which isn't graded, but the test thing is, and then they do a post-test, which is the CAT, which is on the lab, which is graded, and then they get homework, and then I guess they repeat the same process for the entire week. So it was a bit of a learning curve, being sure I could articulate and communicate what they're expected to do and what I'm expected to do for them. Uh, and it was, it was kind of unfortunate. It was the stereotypical, it's my first day guys, because of course nothing worked. So th today I was supposed to introduce the video f to them for the first time and then say, in the future you're supposed to watch this by yourself. And of course the projector doesn't work and it didn't work for like half an hour. So I had to improvise and tell these students to like, ah, get, try to get started on the lab just so you know what to listen for when, when the video starts playing. So that didn't go right. I ended up having to hook my laptop up to the projector instead of, it was just kind of a mess. Uh, so I TA from 10.30 in the morning on Fridays until one, and it took every minute of that time, mostly because that projector didn't work initially. But it was fun. It, it was It was just as fun as I thought it would be. I love, I mean, if you can't tell, I like being the center of attention and I like teaching people things. So it was nice to be able to uh, direct the students certain ways. It's it's trivial stuff like vector addition, but it's still fun to, to see things click for people so I could see myself getting used to this whole teaching setting. Even more so next week when I start doing the supplemental instruction because I'm actually the instructor for that part of the course. Uh, speaking of, I need to come up with some problems for them to solve. So the actual process of TAing and being in there with the lab teaching the students, I think I'm going to enjoy that quite a bit. Different story once it gets to grading because they have a lot of graded things. Their rats are graded, their cats are graded. Every now and then I'm supposed to do a notebook check and then their homeworks are graded and attended. So it's just going to be a lot to keep track of. Gonna have to make sure I take my planner more seriously. And that's just gonna be really fun when I have all of this homework that I have to do. And then in the back of my mind, I know I have to grade like, I don't know, 20 homework assignments. 
that's gonna be fun. Uh, something that I just realized because I'm sitting here is Kelly and I are starting to get quite the new collection of books on our bookshelf. I know I've done a what's on my bookshelf before, but maybe it would be cool to do another one. Just why are you wet? Why are you always wet? But maybe it would be cool to do another what's on our bookshelf because we're starting to acquire quite the collection, quite the newer. Ugh, it's, it's on. Why are you so wet? But we're starting to get some interesting books on the shelf, so maybe I'll do another one of those soon. I've got a couple that are still coming in within the next week or so. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in, and I'll see you guys there.